we got the keys to the house less than 48 hours ago and we've made really good progress moving in and we still don't have a table yet. That's coming with the movers on Monday, but we are going to eat our first dinner in this house, our rental house. Our friends were so nice enough and brought us some Cafe Rio. So we're gonna sit down and have a picnic around the coffee table. have the movers get the last of our stuff um, all the heavy items we moved everything except like our couch and our refrigerator and things that were just really really heavy um, so the house is all empty the kids are off with their grandparents seeing the Grinch and having lunch so my husband and I could tie up the loose ends um, but I'm gonna just walk through and show you guys our empty house um, for my own so here is the living room, all empty, just getting the curtains down, got to take the pets with us as we go. The school area where our school desks were, and the entryway, the bathroom, all empty, and then coming up the stairs. We have all the windows closed because we don't want anything to happen to the house while it's vacant. Um, this was our loft area right here. The master bedroom over there, all empty. Laundry room. The kiddos. This was our boys' room. Lots of brother stories told in here. Good, good memories. There big huge walk-in closets all empty and my youngest pink bedroom she was two when we bought this home and pink is still her favorite color so our next house we buy we will have to have a pink room for her and then my oldest teal aqua type um, colored bedroom in here. She was a little girl when we moved in here and now she's a preteen. So lots of memories in our house but we are excited. The bathroom in there. We are excited for the next chapter. This house was good to us and most importantly was a good financial investment so this was the master that window right there guys is where i sat and filmed all of my youtube videos because it had such great natural lighting and then the master bathroom in here so we're gonna pack these guys up they're the last to come and we're gonna say our goodbyes to the house but the memories come with us and that's what's most important. <laughs> How are you feeling? Pretty good. You good? Excited? Just good. A lot of work. A lot of work. But what's your favorite memories we've had here? Uh teaching Lily how to ride her bike at the pole stack, Christmas. Christmas, yeah, the Christmas tree would always be right over there. But you guys will see, we already have the Christmas tree up in our rental house. Yeah, plenty of catch in the backyard. Yeah, we did. We did a lot to the backyard and had a lot of good date nights out there for a fire pit, but are we gonna, we're gonna do a fire pit tonight, aren't we? Yep. So, teaching Libby how to ride her bike. What else? Anytime you invest, Hard work and blood, sweat, and tears. You tied the tied 
tied to the projects. We did a lot of things for the house. Yeah, we did. We did, but it paid us back in zeros. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of yeah, zeros. Yeah, seasons change. You can't stay the same way forever. That's for sure. God doesn't want you to stay. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> she really wants more food. <laughs> She's on a diet, guys. No. And she really wants this food. The cul-de-sac where our youngest learned to ride her bike. Many of ours played over there. You're moving new house essentials, including flannel Christmas sheets. The last clip you guys saw was actually yesterday. Um, after we um, went through the empty house, which I filmed um, for you guys, and then also for our own memories, um, we actually went to the title company and we signed the closing documents. So that was a really exciting day um to just have a investment work out well i mean it was just a really exciting thing so that is done um and the moving and all of that is done i worked really really hard really hard um i had i made a post on instagram um because i did have some help um, from friends just with like meals and um, and then our family just like occupying the kids but I am the type of person that if I know that I have a huge task ahead of me I would just rather work tirelessly like to the point of exhaustion for like three or four days rather than drag out chaos and disorganization for like weeks at a time. That is just how I am wired. Um, and it's not always the best um, because a lot of times I push myself too hard. And um, so it's definitely not always an easy like personality trait to have, but it does give me an advantage in situations like this. So um, we moved. I'm a pretty organized person, so I didn't have like tons of clutter to go through, but I did purge a lot of stuff. Um, we moved all day Friday. Um, we moved pretty much a lot of Saturday. Then my husband, um, Friday and Saturday, my husband was working. So it was just me and the kids and a friend of mine. And then on Sunday, my husband was off. And then Monday we had movers move the really heavy stuff. Um, but kind of the way we've done it is when my husband is moving, I'm unpacking. So when I was bringing loads over to the house, I wasn't just like tossing it in a pile. I was actually putting it where I wanted it to go. That way I wouldn't have to like two more jobs to do it's just easier to move it and then put it where you want it so that's how I was able to get it done so fast I'm really really thankful because now when I'm filming this it is Tuesday and um, after being like with my kids which don't get me wrong I love my kids but I had been with them like moving and just you know just being out of our normal routine, we were eating out and um, it just was wearing on me. So I had my hair appointment um, scheduled for this day already, which was like a super huge blessing in disguise because it just like forced me to go and do something relaxing for myself. Um, and then my husband was like, why don't you just take the whole day and do like a self care day because you worked really, really hard. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. That's a good idea. So I went and got a manicure. I went and got my eyebrows threaded, which is why they're a little red. I'm going to go and get my hair done. I just went to Trader Joe's for a few essentials. I'll show you guys in a little haul what I got. Um, but we are done moving now. So I just wanted to kind of get on here and explain how things went. Um, and yeah, just share that with you guys because I was getting a lot of messages from um, from you guys mostly over on Instagram where you're like we've been thinking about doing the same thing and you've given me the courage to do it because moving is no small task but once you get through the hard work of it you have to ask yourself once those few days are over is this going to benefit my life in a big way and if the answer is yes 
then you shouldn't avoid the work of getting it done because the payoff is worth it. So anyway, that's my little advice, but I just wanted to get on here and explain how things went. So I'm gonna go run into the dollar store actually and get a few little Christmas gifts that I need to get from there and then I'm gonna head to my hair appointment. And I think I might be doing something drastic. I just got done getting my hair done and I decided to do a little blunt um, cut and then my girl was my hair girl who's amazing was able to flat iron curl it I am determined to learn how to do that I've tried and I'm terrible I'm good at the wand but the flat iron not so good but yeah love getting those grays covered up and then this fun blunt shoulder length cut <laughs> 